Welcome back. I hope that you are in good health. Reasons why you should grow your own mint plant. Mint is one of those versatile herbs that lends its flavor to a huge variety of foods. Mint is a perennial that can be grown outdoors or indoors. It's a natural air freshener too and will fill your home with a sweet, fresh scent. By now we know the danger of oxidative stress in the body. Some experts point to this condition as the source of most human illness. Mint contains some of the highest concentrations of antioxidants of any food, meaning that it can truly improve your health. Mint can be eaten raw, steeped as tea, cooked, dried, and its essential oil can be used as an herbal remedy. Most mint leaves are fully edible and used in cuisines throughout the world. Different types of mint add flavor from subtle to strong with hints of other flavors. You can grow a few of your favorite varieties to use in cooking, jellies, candy, and teas. There are over 1,000 varieties of mint. Here are some of the most popular. Chocolate mint, sweet with lovely reddish brown leaves. Tastes like a chocolate mint candy. Lemon balm, calming, tart, and sweet. Penny royal, great for repelling insects, but not to be taken internally. Peppermint, a cross between water mint and spearmint. It has a high menthol content. Spearmint, presently aromatic and refreshing. If you have a mint plant, you can dry the mint leaves by cutting the stalks right before the flowers bloom. Hang upside down until dry, then store the leaves in an airtight container. Most, but not all mints, can be made into tea from fresh or dried leaves. Make sure the varieties you're growing are safe for ingestion. Mint essential oils can be used topically when mixed with a carrier oil such as almond, coconut, and olive. In a ratio of 4 drops mint per 1 tablespoon of carrier oil. The oils can be used for aromatherapy using a diffuser, steam bath, or simply sniffing the plant. If you are a breastfeeding mother, please note that peppermint can slow milk production. All the edible members of the mint family are good for digestion. Digestion begins in your mouth, and mint stimulates the salivary glands to receive and break down food. Phytochemicals in mint also inhibit pain receptors in the colon, relieve diarrhea, gas, and bloating, and ease constipation. In particular, peppermint is known to relieve symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. Mint leaves will not only ease digestion, but also freshen your breath after a meal. This is because the chlorophyll in mint kills odor-causing bacteria in your mouth. So chew it up or drink some mint tea after eating as a quick mouth cleanser. The same phytochemicals in mint that promote digestion also relieve nausea, can be taken as a tea oil rubbed on the forehead and temples, or munch some leaves. The paradox of mint is that it is both stimulating and calming at the same time. The menthol and peppermint oil is known to be effective in alleviating headaches. When spread across the forehead and temples, a 10% peppermint oil in alcohol solution significantly reduced the clinical headache intensity already after 15 minutes. A British study found that peppermint tea not only enhanced mood, but improved short and long-term memory, alertness, and cognition. A peppermint tincture or a tea composed of cardamom and mint leaves will stop a bout of hiccups. To take, hold your breath as long as possible. Take a big gulp of lukewarm tea, swallow, and breathe. Your hiccups should be gone in no time. A steam or hot bath with mint leaves or essential oil will ease muscle aches, and the menthol in mint relieves congestion. The phytochemicals in peppermint are mild anesthetics to soothe an irritated throat, so make sure to also drink mint tea. Mint is antibacterial, reducing the formation of plaque and bacteria that can cause cavities and bad breath. Mint also stimulates the production of saliva, which keeps bacteria from settling on your teeth. Rinsing with unsweetened mint tea after brushing is as good as mouthwash as you can get. Mint can also be used to treat dandruff and promote hair growth, 
since it cleanses the scalp and stimulates new cells, removing dead skin that is dandruff. Also, crushed mint leaves applied under the eyes can get rid of dark circles by stimulating circulation. Lastly, mint's antibacterial and anti-itch properties combat acne and relieve insect bites. Mint is also known to improve your mood, heal sore nipples of breastfeeding mothers, boost weight loss, improve respiratory function, stimulate the immune response, and repel insects. You can grow a mint plant at home. It's remarkably easy. You can germinate mint seeds indoors at any time of year and either transplant outside or keep indoors. Keep in mind that if you plant mint outdoors, it will spread out at an alarming rate once it's taken hold. Hence, a mint plant is ideal for a container. With a few big pots, you can grow different varieties throughout the year. Mint is so easy to grow. You can stick a leaf in a glass of water and it will sprout roots quickly. Then transplant it into a container with a good organic potting mix. Feed with organic fertilizer or compost every three months. Most varieties of mint like the same type of growing conditions, full to partial shade and moist, well-drained soil. Mint will typically grow up to one to two feet tall. A few care tips for indoor growing. Make sure to keep the soil moist but not saturated and don't allow it to dry. Make sure the mint plant will receive full sun but not full sun all day. Now you can enjoy your mint plant and its benefits. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.